hope as you climb to your God-given potential. So many people come to the end of their life with their music still in them, meaning they have never reached their full potential. Do not let that be you. <laughs> Sir Edmund Hillary, the first person to ever climb to the top of Mount Everest, he did not accomplish that the first time he tried it. The first time he tried it, he failed. But at the end of that failure, he looked up at that mountain and he shook his fist at that mountain. And he said, you're as big as you're ever going to get, but I'm still growing. You see, he did not give up hope and he continued to climb to his God-given potential. Yes, he climbed the mountain, but that's just an illustration of what he did and what you and I can do as we climb to our God-given potential. If you do not use your hope to fuel your climb to your God-given potential, you will never know what your Mount Everest can be. I encourage you to climb in at least four areas. First of all, physically. <clears throat> Stretch yourself physically. Go beyond what you've done before. And that starts with being healthy. Real quick, I'm going to share with you my four get it plan for being healthy. This is just the foundation of living a healthy life. Four get it plan. The first thing you need to get is enough sleep. Get enough sleep. We underestimate the power of sleep. Secondly, get enough oxygen. Breathe in that oxygen. Most of us do not breathe correctly. Breathe deep. Get down, in, down into your diaphragm. Not just into your chest. You want to breathe down low. Third thing we need to get is we need to get enough of the right foods. When I talk about the right foods, I'm talking about water-rich foods, mostly fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Make sure at least 50% and preferably about 75% of your food intake is water-rich. And then the fourth thing we need to get is we need to get away from the poisons. All of those things that cause our body to deteriorate. It may taste good. And I'm not saying you have to eliminate it, but you definitely want to cut down on that stuff if you want to grow to your full potential physically. Emotionally. Emotionally, we need to love, laugh, and live it up. Love people. And don't be afraid to love. Are you going to get hurt? Absolutely you will. <laughs> love anyways. Laugh. Look for opportunities to enjoy life, to laugh about things, to experience laughter with other people. And listen, if you don't see anything funny, laugh anyway. You can still do it. And it will literally rise your emotional state to a better level. And then thirdly, live it up. Live it up. Live with enthusiasm. Mentally, always be learning. Stretch yourself mentally. Read books. Take classes. Watch videos. <laughs> Go to seminars. Go to conferences. <laughs> Take classes. Whatever it takes in order to continue to grow mentally and become smarter and learn more about whatever it is you're into. Whatever you do, continue to grow in that area. And then spiritually. <laughs> spiritually, first of all, get connected with Jesus. Fall radically in love with Jesus and follow his lead. Get into the Bible. You should be reading the Bible at least every day. <laughs> and praying. If you want to grow, if you want to stretch yourself, if you want to climb to your God-given potential spiritually, you got to spend time in the Bible. you got to spend time with God in prayer. You also need to spend time with other believers. Get connected with the church. Church is not optional as a follower of Jesus. It's a must. That's why Jesus created it. He didn't create it as an option. He created it because he knew we needed it in order to grow spiritually. And then also become a giver. 
One of the best spiritual practices we can do is to become a giver. And when I'm talking about a giver, I'm talking about sacrificially of our time and our talents and our treasure. You will make the world a better place. You will help to turn the world upside down when you become a giver. This is how we grow. This is how we climb to our God-given potential. When you make the decision to climb to your God-given potential, you will break out of the monotony of the mundane and the mediocre so you can break through to your enthusiasm zone. In our enthusiasm experience retreats, we take about 50 hours to go into what this means. And not only with this, but with the other seven decisions, as we go through these eight decisions together, we look at what it takes to break out of the monotony of the mundane and the mediocre so we can break through to our enthusiasm zone. Go to TommyLanham.com and click on the enthusiasm experience to see when our next event will be. And I hope to see you there. Hey guys, make your decision, ignite your fire, and live with enthusiasm. Here we go.